I don't need y'all ask me where I've been at, what's going on, what's this, what's that. I'm going to make a whole separate video just explaining to you guys how I've been feeling lately, why I have not filmed. I actually calculated the last time I filmed was 25 days ago, I think we'll make today. So I filmed two videos 25 days ago. Um, I actually didn't upload the other video. Um, and like I said, I've just been in a, a mood. So again, in, a, in a, another video, I will explain um, where I've been. But it does not mean that I have not been trying to catch up on YouTube videos or um, just taking care of my mental health um, as well as thinking of looks to be creative with. Just trying to just expand my thought process on makeup, um, expand my thought process on YouTube. Um, but that will get in another video all of that information so today's video and i hope everyone is doing well is going to be about the um color pop and lizzie mcguire collection um i think everyone has seen this this was something else that went pretty viral i have some thoughts some opinions i have some loves i have some probably could have done without um so yeah, let's get straight into that. So I don't know, maybe it's just me. I just felt like when I just felt like when this collection came out, it was pretty much of like a shock. Like I didn't really think Lizzie McGuire at first um, as like their new collab. I don't know what I thought they would have came up with for a new collab. I kind of thought it would have been something geared towards spring, but like Easter maybe, because they are coming up with, I mean, ColourPop releases things, I kid you, probably once a week, they're releasing something new. So when I saw this, they put like the little ears, if I can find it, here I'll put it here, it's like the little Mickey head, and I'm um, telling people to guess, and the moment I saw it, I thought of Lizzie McGuire. Um, and it's sad because I kind of, my mom was feeling like, Oh, maybe they'll do that. So Raven being that in February, they were really trying to um, press the fact of like um, people of color that are doing makeup and things to cater towards their skin tone. So I thought we were leaning towards that route of getting like maybe a that. So Raven's, but too good to be true. Couldn't get that. So we got Lizzie McGuire instead. Now, I'm familiar with Lizzie McGuire. I have not watched it in years. Um, Lizzie McGuire was one of the shows I used to watch back in the day, as well as That's So Raven, um, The Proud Family, definitely used to watch The Proud Family, um, along with a few other shows and like their movies and stuff. So we're going to go through with my thoughts. So I purchased everything from this collection, as well as I did purchase stuff in the Bambi collection. I can do a video on that as well. Um, so yeah, let's start with the eyeshadow palette. So I did purchase everything from the collection. Um, this was actually my first time looking at it at hand as I was filming this video for you guys. So again, I'm late to the party, but everyone has seen um, the eyeshadow palette. Everyone has seen the color story. What I really do admire about the palette is Amira. This Amira is always needed. Um, in my opinion, of course, I dirtied mine up already, which I have to wipe off. But a mirror is always needed. The packaging is beautiful. I think one thing ColourPop does very well is packaging. Like, I will always give it to them for packaging. Um, but now about the color story. So, everyone has seen this. Everyone has, I don't know, I guess like 50 50 thoughts on it. For my opinion, from after me using it, this definitely could have been more of deeper tones. Um, this is way too light. Um, just, I mean, this is really light. Like, you guys will see, I had trouble with this green shade up here, which is Don't Freak. Uh, even though this uh, glittery green in Dear Diary is beautiful, this green did not perform well. Um, I also had color. I also had problems with so mature. That color did not show up well. Um, and I can see that these two colors. I used a little bit of this pink shade, not too much, but I used. Let's see how many colors did I use? Seven. I used seven colors out of the twelve pan palette. Right, three, six, nine, twelve out of the twelve pan palette. So I did get a chance to use 
a nice amount of um, color. Seven color is a nice amount for a 12 pan, but I really didn't enjoy this as much as I thought I would have because of the pinks and purples and the green. Um, it wasn't that enjoyable. I definitely think this palette could be better. If I had to rate it out of a 10, I would probably give this palette a 6. Um, packaging is phenomenal. Packaging itself can get a 10, but the product themselves, like the colors, we need to start really thinking of people of colors, and this is not working with me, and it's pretty disappointing. This is a very close comparison to um, the Sailor Moon palette, which I'll actually pull out right now. Okay, so this is the Sailor Moon palette. This is the Lizzie McGuire palette. Again, packaging was bomb for this palette, Sailor Moon. So let's open it up. There is no mirror, but I will do a close-up so you guys can see. Okay. Now, these are the two palettes. Very similar. Um, of course, there's a few different colors here, but they are very similar. Um, if I had to choose which one I would go for, I probably would just go for the, I don't know, they both, they're both very pretty, but it's like, I don't get why these colors are not deep enough to show up on everyone. I mean, if you didn't buy it, you're not missing out on it. I'm sorry to say, but that's just how I feel. I think it's beautiful. If you love Lizzie McGuire, you want in your collection. Um, if you didn't buy the Sailor Moon one and you wanted this one, then of course, go for it. Why not? But besides that, mm -mm. so that is my opinion with the palette. Now we're going to move on with the, let's move on with the blush. So this right here is the blush and you are Magnifico. This blush is actually the darker out of the two. Um, so I definitely went in with this blush. This blush was very pigmented, very pretty. It does have shimmer in it. Um, I still think it was very nice. I don't think the shimmers are too crazy. To me, as you go on with your day, spray your face and, like I said, go on with your day. By the time your natural oils start peeking out and stuff, or just you just go on with your day with the mask on because we are all wearing masks at this point. Um... You won't see the glitter. It's not like crazy. It just has just a tad bit of shimmer. But out of 10, I would definitely give this a 10. I think this is... Never fails. 25 days later, same shit, different day. I would definitely give this a 10. So the next product that I have is the Glitterly Obsessed and Sing To Me Palo. So this is really pretty. This showed up as like a really... Again, pack it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just want to show the packaging for um the, the cardboard packaging and the actual product. So this is how it looks. What I like about this the most is that it it stays the same. Um, I had a really big issue with the Kylie Cosmetics, like, Christmas collection, like, that whole, um, you're buying it, and it's supposed to be the Grinch, and then you open it up, and all it says is Grinch on it, like, that kind of pissed me off, that, no, that pissed me off, uh, because you're going really for the packaging as well, especially when things are collectible, or they kind of break up a childhood memory, you want that packaging to stay, so if you decide you want to throw out the cardboard box, at least you will always have the actual product that holds um, an amazing picture as well. So, even for the Glitterly Obsessed, now this one is Sing To Me Paolo. This is a silver, that got pretty messy, probably with my doings, a silver right here. This doesn't smell as bad as the Hocus Pocus one, if you guys seen my video for that. That joint smelled and it wasn't was nothing to run home and talk about. It smelled bad. It really smelled bad. So glitterly obsessed. It's really your preference. For me, I like them. Um, will I get a lot of use out of it? No. Uh, you never really do get a lot of use out of these. I think moving forward, they should try to make them a little bit smaller. Just because, you know, you save 
more products that way you kind of distribute out you'll have more people to distribute out to and make the price definitely cheaper make the smaller no one uses a whole thing um i don't think i've ever heard anyone that has done a color pop review say that i've used a whole literally obsessed so i did use it on the high points of my cheeks right above the highlighter just to add something really cute so yeah from one out of ten i think the formula is still the same i like that it does not smell and whatever it does smell like it doesn't smell horrible so i definitely give this a 10 out of 10 yeah i'll give this a 10 out of 10 i think this was really good so i did buy um all four of the lip glosses um i do love lip glosses believe it or not even with the mask one i still love to have lip gloss on my lip i did use gordo which to me was way cuter than ethan craft so i did use gordo this one it's gordo the dark and purple right here is the packaging again if you decide you want to throw out the cardboard box we you have lizzie on the packaging which would have been nice if they had gordo on a packaging like did him in cartoon form um yeah that's just kind of a cute idea but i really do like these plumper gloss i already have like naturally big lips like, i don't really need too much pumping um i don't know if it did anything um i don't know i used the purple lip liner though from kylie cosmetics and love bite bite love or something of that sort and then i pile i just put this on top this is very thick um but to me, not uncomfortable. It's just a thicker product and it smells like peppermint. I mean, it makes your lips look really glossy. Like your lips will look really glossy. They may, my lips may look plump. I don't have on my glasses. So I don't know what the hell my lips look like today, but I don't know does it what you guys think did it add a little oomph to my lip or do my lips just still look it's regular normal size um let me know i think it smells really good though which again i appreciate because the lip oils for color pop don't really have a pleasant smell um i don't know it smelled very similar to the um concealer it had like a very small very strong chemical smell i don't know why but i have to smell things sometimes just to see if i'm gonna like it or not uh because you don't want to apply something on your face or on your lip and that smell does not go away it stays on your face or on your lip yeah guys that is it i did not buy anything else from this color i really think this was everything um, it was really pricey. I will say that much. Um, I know that the collabs are always two or three dollars more, but I feel like this one up maybe because I haven't bought makeup in a long time. I'm unsure. I really don't know. But that is the final look. So after this clip, you guys will see my new clip. Yes, I am back on YouTube. Yes, I will give you guys an update on how I've been doing. And um, that'll be more of an intimate sit down video where I'm not going to be talking about the products I'm using. I'm just going to be using the products. Excuse these baby hairs. Baby hairs are like stiff. Anybody have flyaway edges like me? Because this is bad. How do you just stick up? See, when I pose, I have to do like this. Because if not, it just looks like I have like two, two horns sticking out. But I hope you guys like the eye look. It took a lot of blending. A lot of time and that's my issue like I don't want to do my makeup and be annoyed while doing it because then I never feel like it comes out the best I think this came out pretty good thank God for that glitter green shade dear diary I think it was I think it came out pretty good I, I'm not too mad at it I even applied a little bit of the glitterly obsessed on my eye on top of another glitter again you guys will see always check down here i always try to put down the name of the um shadows that i'm using in case you guys ever want to do a very similar tutorial so always check that out and that's about it guys so until next time
thinking of her.